Hey guys, Spig here. Today I am going to be showing you how to properly use GIFs with the Elgato Stream Deck. Now many people buy this Stream Deck for scene switching and that is all good. It works great at that. And a lot of people want to use GIFs with it but it's kind of a little bit tricky to set up. So there's more than one way to use GIFs with the Elgato Stream Deck but I'm going to show you a way that I have found to be very, very easy to do. So let's get started. First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna come to OBS. The OBS that is on your, your, your machine that has the Elgato Stream Deck hooked up to it because you want the Elgato Stream Deck to be able to communicate with this OBS. You're gonna create a scene, you're gonna add a scene, right? And we're gonna call this GIFs. Oh, well, I should have named it. Let's rename it. We're gonna call it GIFs. GIF 2, actually. All right, and so then what you're going to do is you're going to add all of your your memes into there. So you're just going to drag and drop, drag and drop, uh, drag and drop. All right, I'm not going to add all these if I could just drag this one. So now we've got all these memes in here. Uh, this isn't going to work because I have them inside of this scene already, so they won't play. But now it's, here's where you would arrange them. Like say I want that one to pop up there. Um, I want by Felicia to come in over on the side. I want Taylor. I want her to be big, right? And I want her to pop up right there. And I want this baby to be right here underneath this one because they're not all gonna play at the same time, right? Okay, so you at that point, that's when you arrange them. And then if you have like, say something like this, you would right click filters add your filter and then you would chroma key the background out so now Taylor is transparent so that's just a way to get them inside of your sources and you want it to be in, inside of your scene and you want it to be named uh, GIFs or something that you know and um, you're gonna put them all under the same scene every GIF you've got should be under the same scene unless you want them positioned differently Anyways, so once you've done that, now we need to add the keybind into the Elgato Stream Deck. So I'm going to come over here, delete these, and I'm going to show you how I do this. So what you do is you come to Source, you just drag your OBS Studio Source, because it is a source, right? And then we're going to come down to GIFs, and this one we're going to call Baby. Okay? Now with that one's done, we're going to drag a source, and what you're just going to go in order. So you're going to come to your GIFs. And you're gonna call this one boom or whatever you have it named and source and you're gonna call this one uh hey boo because it's clinton all right so now whenever i push this on the on the agato stream deck you see baby right baby's there you see boom and then you see hey boo Right? And they pop up and they will play correctly once you're there. Okay? So now you've got all your keybinds set up, right? Like this. This is what your stream deck looks like. Now, whenever you push them, they pop up and they show everywhere, right? So, how do we get these into to play in all my other scenes? Like, I want it to play on my monitor screen, right? All you're gonna do is you're gonna right click, add, you're gonna add a scene and you're gonna add that GIF scene. So now that keybind is set up. So now if I transition this over so that the scene is live and I hit baby, now you can see the baby popping up there. Or if I hit Travolta, you can see Travolta actually looking around. All right, but if I was on my Be Right Back screen, right? If I hit Travolta, you see it on this scene, but you don't see it on the Be Right Back screen. Well, if I added, my scene here now you see him there too right so it's that simple now i'm going to come to my game i'm going to go add scene i'm going to go gifts and look now he's on my game scene uh just just do that you just add this scene into every scene that you want your gifts to play in now the reason why that the, i found this to be best and simple is because 
One, look at how concise this is. This has my display capture. It has my webcam. It has uh, some audio bits that I play like this. I'm incredulous to this entire situation, but do me a favor, cordially and ineptly, stop doing what you do. So the audio things I have done just the same way as the GIFs. I've just added little short audio clips, and then um, whenever they're playing, you can't handle the truth. You, you want to go to your advanced audio properties and do monitors so you can hear them. Um, so while they're playing, you do that, but. Now imagine if you had all of these and you had to put all of these inside your blank scene. We're going to add our GIFs here. So you had to put all those inside there. Look how cluttered that could get, right? But now just with this one line, I'm able to play this. I'm able to play that, 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 that that all these gifts are under this one little line so it cleans up your sources quite a bit and this is what we call nesting so guys you can see everything's working you just add that scene inside of your other scenes and you get that one key bind on your stream deck to work in all the scenes no matter what so Thank you guys for watching. If this video helped you out, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment to let me know. Also, if you do cool things with your stream deck that I haven't mentioned, be sure to let me know in the comments. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments too. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.